Hey guys, we are, or at least I am, pretty gross right now. And so I figured we do all the dirty work this afternoon. We have to clear out some of like the rocks in our backyard because my mom and I are gonna be planting some flowers tomorrow. I thought I'd finally give this guy a haircut. Yeah, cause your hair is really long. Get out of here, mommy. Mwah. Yeah, your hair is really long and um, our shower needs a good deep clean. So figured, you know, while I'm gross and while he is covered in beans <laughs> and he needs a bath, we might as well get all the dirty work done today. So come on and join us. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Uh, like I said at the beginning of this video, we are doing all the dirty work today. So after he is done eating, we are gonna head outside. I guess I gotta sweep the floor too. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna head outside and we're gonna move some rocks. Deal? Okay. Say hi, Bubba. One thing before we get started, he has the cutest little teeth coming in. So normally it's like bottom two, top two. Well, he has the two next to the top centers coming in. So we got ourselves a little vampire in time for Halloween. You would just too cute. I'm gonna see if I can record it later on. And you wanna show them your teeth? <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw it, um, but if not, if I'm reviewing this, I will make sure to show you. Oh, you're trying to show them your fangs? Are you trying to show them your fangs? Yes! Oh. Yeah. You got the cutest little fangs coming in for Halloween, dude. Okay, so I finished off just this little corner. I'm exhausted. I found that using one of the bigger rocks made of just compacted dirt really broke down the other compacted dirt rocks. So I was just like lifting that up and throwing it down. So I'm kind of tired. That was a workout for me. I'm looking at like the rest. I probably have like the equivalent of this four more times in order to get all the rocks broken down and the cement chunks taken out but this guy needs a haircut and it's gonna be his bedtime in like an hour and a half. So I need to get him a haircut so that he can take a bath, so I can feed him, so I can bathe. So I'm gonna call it quits. I think this will be enough to, for my mom to work with tomorrow. And if not, you know, we can help her out. So let's go give this guy a trim. All right, so the last time I did this, I gave him like three different sizes of a, of a bladed cut. So we're gonna see how much I can do today. How much will you let me do, bubs? Got a number six for the top. All 
All right, I think I got the top done. This is very difficult with him like moving around like crazy. But oh my gosh, he looks so cute. But I'm biased, what do you guys think? I could probably just stop here and then it'd probably all be about the same length, but I kind of like giving him that little fade if I can manage it. It's a pick on you! Yep, it's not that he's not, it's not that he's complaining, it's that he keeps moving, it's difficult. She says, oh, look at Chubby's hair. It's so adorable. <laughs>definitely saw like that take off some hair. I like this little shirt. This is the only piece of clothing that's like his age size that actually fits him. <laughs> He's usually in 18 month clothes, but this is like a nine month shirt. Hey cutie, you have your hair all over you. All right, I think, I think I did okay. I'll be able to tell better after his bath, but with him moving around, I think I did an okay job, right? Mm. Okay, so let's get cleaned up. Okay, so we are nice and clean. <laughs> this little guy is super tired, so I'm going to get him to bed, and then I will show you guys a new cleaning product that I got. I'd like to thank Kohi Clean and Weemi for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us this amazing cleaning brush. The product consists of the rechargeable handle, a brush attachment, a scourging pad attachment with three scourging pads, as well as a charging cable. The product came assembled with the brush attachment already installed and it even came slightly charged. The brush has two spin settings. Pressing the button once starts you off at the lower setting. 
and pressing the button again gets the brush spinning a little bit faster. To turn off the brush, all you need to do is press the button once more. I decided to use this to clean our guest bathroom tub as well as Jack's little tub. Aubrey got really dirty this day and tracked in a lot of dirt in the tub. So I started by rinsing down as much as I could before I began cleaning. As you can see, even after a good spray, our tub was still really gross. To clean these tubs, I just used a combination of baking soda and dish soap, and then turned on the brush and scrubbed away. I have to say, using this brush was kind of fun. I could even feel a difference in the smoothness of the tub after the brush did its work. Unfortunately, the diameter of the round brush attachment was slightly too big to fit in the narrow crevices of Jack's tub, so I had to use a sponge in those few parts. But I'm really satisfied with how well the product worked. I definitely think that if I tried to do an equivalent job by hand using a sponge, it would have taken me at least twice as long. On a different day, I decided to use the brush to clean my sink, which had caked on scraps of food. It was pretty gross. The brush did an amazing job at removing the food and making my sink look nice and shiny again. I'm excited to use the other attachment to clean my oven wire racks when they need a good deep clean, as well as my stove top and all the parts that go with it. I will place the link to the product down below in the description box for your convenience if you'd like to pick up this awesome product. Again, I'd like to thank Kohi Clean and Weemi for sponsoring this portion of today's video and helping me better clean my tub and sink. Hey guys, so it is the next day and my mom and I have been working, uh, my mom harder than I because I've had to deal with the kids, working on the backyard, getting some of the plants in. It is very hot and tangled up here. It's very hot, but I thought I'd show you guys the process or the progress, not the process. Sorry, it's so hot I can't think straight. <laughs> Anyways, let's go see what we've done so far and then give our sidewalk a good sweep. So that's the little corner that I prepped last night. Got the bougainvillea in there. We're gonna end up having more plants like along, but I could not get to those rocks over there, nor could I over here. But over in this little area where my mom's working hard, it was kind of clear. So we're putting our last little plant in there and those other two are just gonna have to wait. But while I'm out by our tree, this one has been like struggling, but I think seeing this like new growth on the leaves or on the branches, I mean, is a good sign. So happy to say that both of our trees you know are surviving unfortunately though it doesn't look like my pumpkins are doing as good so we got let's see come on leaves this, this little guy looks like he's about to die browning from the top this one haven't given up on yet same goes for its little buddy down there but this guy looks like he's on his way out same for that guy but anyways let's sweep this up and make it look extra pretty I would really like to thank you guys for watching this video and supporting my channel. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up 
And if you guys are new, I would like to invite you to subscribe and stick around. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.